Welcome to the very first episode of the Progression Series. This is a project I've been wanting to do for a while, um, and I just felt like this is the right time to do it now. Seeing as Arya's right around the corner, the game looks like it's booming right now, and this is the time to play Flesh and Blood. Especially for a lot of the new players and all that out there too. So, me and my mate Matt have set a budget of $30 each week. We will verse each other at the end of each week. Um, and you can buy packs and you can buy starter decks. If there is any other things that LSS will be bringing out in the future, such as, you know, just one-off cards that they sell individually, magic, um, <laughs> we'll be able to purchase those too. But no singles, um, all straight from packs, all straight from uh, starter decks. No messing around with online purchases through singles. You'll have to apologize my audio and video quality this week. I didn't realize that I was running that low on storage at the time on my computer. So it was a little bit choppy on my side, but Matt did most of the recording. This won't be a small project. This is a big project that I'll be doing. I think that I at least want to do it for 20 weeks. So there's a lot of content that's going to be coming from me and especially Matt in the future as well. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope that the first episode doesn't turn you off too much, um, and it'll be a fun ride. See you in the, the next part of the video. Alright lads, how's it doing? Welcome to the Progression Series. Um, this is going to be mine and Yazi's pro new project, so it's my first introduction to YouTube and all that type of shit. Uh, I've opted to play Sir Butthole, as Yazi likes to call him. Um, I'm going with the starter deck, so just all the basic starter deck stuff. You can look the list up online if you really want to see what it is. But um, I've opted for Bolton because I feel like he's he's a good hero. He's got so he's got a lot of promise. One of he's as Yazi likes to say, he is one of the strongest of the current set. Um, a lot of potential behind him and all that. So. We've got all the equipment here. Um, as the starter deck, the starter deck does supply some pretty solid stuff, like Gallantry Gold, Snapdragon. That's some stuff you really want for Bolton. Um, we've given ourselves a budget for packs of thirty dollars. I've opted to save some money this week, so I've bought myself two. Uh, we'll crack these open and see if there's anything we need to change in the deck. So I think the first thing I'm going to get rid of is the mentor. And we'll figure out where we go from there. So, get to opening these packs. If I can, if I can open them. So, <clears throat> what I'm mainly looking for is some decent warrior cards. Like, like something that, like these, these are already in the set. Um, just something that is somewhat even useful like I want to have cards that I can possibly chuck into my hero soul and fill my hero soul as much as possible so I'm thinking of keeping this and the illuminates are really good too there's nothing else that's really of use I could keep this for when I want, if I'm, depending on what Yazi's playing, I'm not even sure what he's playing. And keep that in case he's going for a stronger deck, so I could play a bit defensively. And that's a foil, so. There's not much light stuff in this pack for Warrior. So these are one of the only few things I can actually use. Um. I think I might possibly add the Seek Enlightenments, depending if there's some already in here, I don't remember. I've got the fucking memory of a goldfish. <coughs> so there's no red Seek Enlightenments in here. So I can just fuck this mentor off because the mentors suck. And 
chuck the red seek enlightenment in. Um, fuck off, Minerva, you bitch. Like, yeah. So, EX can go get fucked. And let's have a look. I can add that. Ooh. I have no use for that, but that's, that's nice. These aren't bad. Seek Horizons. They don't charge though. Like, I'm probably just gonna opt for, Belittle's really good, I could probably chuck that in. But there's really nothing else that's, The thing is, I'm not getting a buff from Minnow Wisdom, so I may as well just play another Seek Enlightenment. Or an Illuminate in Yellow, unless I already have them, I don't remember. So Illuminates... So there's nothing else here that I really take use of. It's really useful for me. So, Belittle... I don't have any Minnow Wisdoms. So I get no use out of that. So it's one of these three. Well, one of these two. This is equipment. There's a lot of one-offs in these starter decks. So it's, it's there's not many Good cards. I just gotta figure out if there's a red illuminate in here. I don't remember. I think I got blue illuminates. Do I? Oh. So I want to keep the rising solar tides. Invigorating light. I'm not a fan of it. Let's see, I can swap out invigorating light for seek enlightenment. I think that works. And I wouldn't mind these two Illuminates in the deck because they are really good cards. I could probably cut the push forwards because push forwards are actually really bad. So I think I'm going to opt for a Bolton that will charge a fair bit. Um, and I'm probably going to need to go for a hatchet build. Like, what I'm mainly looking for in the packs is the Majestic Spill Blood, because I get the most benefit out of that. And it's one of my, it would be my win condition when I eventually get it. So, um, the packs were a bit rough to play with, but I'm glad I got another, another two Illuminates to stick in my deck. And I got the Seek Enlightenments, which they plus my they plus my attacks, so I can detach the soul and swing again. So it's not too bad. We'll see how this pans out compared to Yazi's deck, and see what he's working on, and hopefully. Mine doesn't end up terribly against his. Cheers, lads. So as stated, we start with one starter deck. I, for one, have chosen Azalea. Now, I know that Azalea... If I can find her. Now, I know that Azalea didn't come with a starter deck. So, I've kind of looked at the other starter decks and chosen what would a typical Arcane Rising starter deck have. So of course you have your Death Dealer, Bullseye Braces, Talismanic Lens, Vestige, 
Well, yeah, Vest of the First Fist, Iron Rot Legs. I think it was a bit too unfair if I did start with Snapdragon Scalers. Um, and yeah, so that's the equipment so far for my for my deck. And for my $30 for my packs, I am going to buy five packs from Crucible of War. Um, I feel like Crucible of War is the best way for my deck. Um, the main reason why is because I can go from other heroes from Crucible of War. It might have been smart if I had went with a Monarch hero, because then I would have been able to go anywhere I wanted to. But the idea for my deck is eventually I feel like I'm going to end up playing Lexi. Even though we have no idea what she can do yet. But with the way that the game's going, I don't think she'll be underpowered. So we'll get on to opening my side of the packs. So this is the list so far, as far as the starter deck for um, Azalea would go. And these are the changes that I'm making. So the cards I cut from this deck so far was the one Lunging Press, the one Springboard Somersault, the two Fever Runs. I can see this working, but at the same time, it's just not a great card. Um, I've put in the... The two trip, the tripwire, the rock slide, and the two sleep dart, and the two sleep dart, the pathing helix, and the yellow. The sleep dart yellow, the pathing helix in yellow, and I think I also cut the um, salvage shots in blue for the blue sleep darts. Hopefully this works out, and we'll get on to the match. All right. Hi Matt, how are we? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Yep, and I, I guess um, we, we, we get to show each other what we're playing. We have still no idea what each other are playing yet, <laughs> and I've chosen to play Xavier. No, what the? <laughs> <laughs> um, I've chosen Bolton. Sir, Sir Butthole. Sir Butthole. Alright, well it looks like this will be a very good match on my side from my pulls I guess uh, and you got the life count there so yeah it, it, it all right um you want to start off with a die roll yeah sure thing uh, odds uh or even oh, fuck oh yeah you, you go I'll, I'll go odd I'll go I'll, I'll go odd I'll go odd, go odd yeah. and I roll the six so your choice first uh, or second I will choose first I'm not sure how to play against Azalea because no one it's plays Azalea. Azalea. No one plays Azalea. <laughs> but, um, I'm doing the boys justice, alright? I'm doing the boys, boys justice. justice. Alright. The fucking skull free cloak. Uh, yeah, I got iron rod legs, bullseye, vest, of first fist, and towels. Yeah. Alright, and of course, death dealer. What? I didn't, I didn't, red what line again. you go with Azalea? Um, I want to play something very controllable, and eventually I feel like down the track when Tails comes out, um, the support maybe will... Rain will be good. Yeah, the support. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, 
Yeah, the support hopefully does something. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. Um, and I'll just cut halfway. Yeah, I'll do the same. Alright, ready when you are, champion. Yeah, man. Blue illuminate, uh, blue seek enlightenment. Yep. And I will also. Play an express lightning charging my soul. As an additional cost. And, and how much remaining? Uh, zero remaining. So this is coming for four. And if this hits, express lightning goes into my soul as well. Yeah. But you can just detach and swing again. Yeah. Um, I will choose to block. I block nine. Block nine? Yep. Yep. And I will just pass the move. Sure thing. Alrighty. Um, I will start with a ravenous rabble in yellow. Coming in for. Coming in for three. For three? Yep. Okay. Like it's ravenous rabble, so it has go again. Mm. Um, I will take that three. Yep. I will. Um. Pitch a ravenous rabble. Play silver the tip. Yep. So I look at the top three cards in my deck. Um, I get to pick an arrow among them and put it into my arsenal face-off. Yeah. Um, and then the rest go to the bottom of my deck. Um, I'll put a headshot here. Yeah. And I'll put the other two at the bottom. I really like um, and then... and Ranger. Yeah, oh, well, like, I, I didn't pull any. These were just for the, the starter deck. Yeah. Um, and then it was headshot. Um, I'll come in for six. Six? Alright, this is a bit rough. Um, just gotta weigh up my options. What are you scared of, bro? It's just as there, Leo. <laughs> yeah, but it's like... I can only block one with my equipment, you know? Mm, yes. I mean, same here. That spell free slot is gonna go so far. Oh, <laughs> bro. Well, like, I didn't pull anything that defends, you know? Yeah, I don't think there is anything other than Ironhide. Yeah, I've learned right. Ironhide or, like, Visage, and what are my mm. odds of getting a legendary, you know? Like, higher than you, but. This doesn't have to go again, so this is my last attack. Yeah. Uh, block six. Yeah, so I'll go and ask past, mate. No reacts? Nothing. Sweet. Uh, I will just play a red illuminate. Um, thinking. Um, I'll go to defense reactions. That's it, no or attack no reactions. Uh, no reactions. Um, I'll go a tripwire. So this one just says that no on hit effects. Yep, so it doesn't go on a muscle. No. And it's defense for four as well. Big sad. Uh, and I'll arsenal this and pass to you. Sure thing, chicken wing. Um, I 
old pitch silver the tip coming with searing arrow for four and if it hits it deals one damage to you one damage to you <clears throat> So for four base, right? Oh, I don't need a pitch, actually. Sorry, I don't need a pitch. Yeah, I'm going for four. Uh, I will take the four and then the extra damage. Yep. Um, and I'll go and ask pass. Ask pass. Nice. Nice. <coughs> I'll pitch blue illuminate. And play seek enlightenment. Yep. And then an illuminate from Arsenal, so coming in for four. And if if it hits, goes into my spell. Yep. I will block three. Any attack reacts? Uh, no attack reacts. Um, I'll go rock slide trap. So it gets minus two. Minus two. Yep. Yep. Uh, just thinking if I want to react to that. So I'm currently technically defending for seven. Yeah. Unless you pay one. Unless you pay one. Pay one, defending for seven. How much is that? What's the full effect for rock for the trap? Uh, target attack again. Uh, gets minus two attack unless the attack attacking hero pays one. And what does that trap defend for? Two. Two. So, so I'm currently defending for five, but it gets minus two. Yeah, uh, I will just detach as a reaction to that. Yeah, well, you can't detach because it oh, is. Yeah, that's right. That's kind of screwing me actually. Um, I react to that with Snapdragon. Okay. I mean, you could pay the one for it uh, if you wanted to. I don't really want to though. You know. Okay. Like I have two resource blade in. I don't really want to. Yep. Put an express lightning charge in. Coming in for. It's coming in for four, but if you defend with an attack action, it comes in for five. Um, I'll take four. Take four. Yep. Yay! I've done damage. <laughs> These, these starter decks, they, they do feel a bit janky. <laughs> uh, uh, um, they feel a bit... I'll, I'll go Death Dealer. Yep. I'm um, putting second shot face up my arsenal, draw a card. Um, I'll come in second shot for four. Bullseye. <clears throat> yep. Put a uh, hamstring shot face up. Um, and then pitch swing for five. So this one says your next. The first attack during the next turn costs an additional one. So I will 
pitch to I will use Halo's ability. So I yep. will put a card in my soul if it's a light card, draw a card. I will put yep. an engulfing light into my soul, drawing a card. play across the line and I will not choose the charge. Yeah, you have nothing, right? Yes. Yeah, um, that's coming in for five. Um, five. Attack reactions. Uh, no attack reactions. I'll go a take cover for two. Yep. Uh, putting second shot face up. So take three. Oh, uh, it's face down. Um, yeah, take three. Down to 13. Sweet. Um, I will go sick him shot for two. Um, I will take two. Then I'll go death dealer ability. Um, Pitch this hamstring for shot for five. No go again on that, right? <clears throat> no go again. But if it hits your next action, attack costs one. Or well, one more. Yeah. I guess I gotta take the five. Alright. There's no way I Get can push damage if I don't. Uh, I'll pitch Bolt of Courage, play a Take Flight using two resources from the Inquisitor's Arrow. I will yep. charge across the line. So it's swinging for four. Goes a five if defended by an attack action. Mm. One card in hand, One bunch of cards, in... and has go again already, right? Yeah, has go again already. Mm. I'll take the four and a nine. Yep. Uh, I will use the last resource to swing with hatchet. I'll block three. So it's an attack action, right? Yep. So I can detach with a reaction. I'll pitch two and hatch it again. Four, three this time. Yep. And I'll block three again. Yep, so comes in for an extra one now. So I do Yep, one. so I'll take one. Alright, pass over. Yeah. Continue, chief. Um, I'll go Death Dealer, dealer ability, put Ridge Rider shot, uh, um, draw a card off Death Dealer, yeah. and then trigger Ridge Rider shot's ability, where I can opt one. I'll use Azalea's ability to put this card at the bottom of my deck. Passing Helix, so this says Dominate. Um, and if it hits, I get to, um, well, if it hits, then I get to put it face up yep. in my arsenal. Oh, it's a card, sorry, not it. Um, and then I'll come in for three. I'm a bit scared of the razor. And then I'll ask pass. Ask pass. Oh, 
can swing with an express lightning for four charging. Um, I'll block one. Any attack reactions? Um, no attack reactions. I'll go defense reaction. Take aim. So I'm blocking three. Yep. And then I'll put um, a card face down in my arsenal. Sure thing. Uh, no way I can give this girl gun, I don't think. So, to you, lad. So I take one, right? Take one. Because I can't for. F yep. I will pitch blue sleep dart, come in for a second shot for four. One, two, three, four. And then I will go uh, death dealer ability. Put this face up in my arsenal, draw a card. Go away! Um, Damn, bro, people be going and then I'll simp simply come in for six. Simply come in for six? Simply. What six? Yep. Um, pass, pass, mate. Yep. I've got a great turn here, right? <laughs> I will play a blue bolt of courage for one. Um, I think. Wait, what did you pick? Shit. It costs nothing. So I had this in Arsenal because I had it saved from last turn. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll take one. Oh, feels good. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I got a pretty good turn. If only I had a Snapdragon. Um, I'll go rapid fire, so all my arrows have go again this turn. Yep. And I could reload, but I already have a card in Arsenal. Um, pitch flock the Feather Walkers. Play Ridge Rider shot for three. Block three? Yep. I will go Death Dealer ability. Drawing a card. I then will crack Talismanic Lens. Sure thing, Chief. <clears throat> uh, I don't want any of those, I don't think. That might not be too bad. I still have one remaining, right? Yeah, I do. And I still got a bitch. I will then use Azalea ability. Yep. Take aim. So I'll go take aim. And then I'll go a another take aim. Oof. Putting this face. <laughs> Uh, get to look at the top card of my deck. Unfortunately, I already used his daily's ability. Um, and then this is going to come in for... Going to come in for six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, your turn, champion. My turn will just be Arsenal pass. Alrighty. I'll start off with a ravenous rabble. Uh, coming in for two. I will take two. I'll 
pitch a foresight and go, is it a uh, death dealer? Drawing a card? Yep. I'll then pitch silver the tip. Gives my next attack plus three. And then headshot for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Choosing not to charge. Coming in for? For free. Okay. Let me think of this. I'll block three. Oh, wait, wait, not this one. I'll block three with this one. Yep. Sweet. To you, bro. Um, I will go... Azalea ability, putting Ridge Shot. So drawing a card and then using um, Ridge Rider Shot's effect to opt. Uh, that's fine to stay there. If only had go again! <laughs> uh, Alright, um, yeah, and I'll swing for four. Dominate? No, no, dominate. Six. Okay. And then an <clears throat> ass pass from me, mate. Ass pass? Yep. I will pitch Illuminate Flame via the Vanguard from Arsenal. Should yep. In once. Coming in for. And four. how many resources remaining do you have? Uh, two after this. Two after that. Ooh. <laughs> I just don't have a lot left in deck. I've got four cards left in deck. <laughs> honestly, uh, same though. Honestly, same though. Uh, if I have to block one of them, I have to block this, right? Mm -hmm. I was saving this because right. I, was, I had a really bad hand and I was like, you know what, even if I just pass, I can possibly use this to take back the game. So how much is that coming in for? Uh, four, and if you def defend it at attack action, yeah, it's yeah. one. So it comes I'll, block, in four. I'll block six. So it comes into six, so I'll depatch, give it go again. Yep. Oh, he's banished. No good banish. And then swing three, right? Yep, swing three. I'll take three. We'll swing two, technically. I'll be three because of the, um... The buff. Ult ability. Yeah, the buff from B. I will, for my turn. Well, I still have resource, right? Wait, you do? Yeah, I have one more, so I'll detach. Wait, wait, is that a blue illuminate? Blue, yep. Oh, okay. And patch it again. So you took the three? Uh, yeah. No, I've never played. I'll... This is my literally my first time playing Bolton. So I'll block three. With attack action? Yep, and I'll take one. Take one, yep. Sweet. Um, I'm going to E-pot pass. E-pot pass, this guy. I will play a take flight. Charging... Swing in for three. Technically four. Uh, <laughs> I think you got me, mate. <laughs> Bit rough, didn't it? Yeah, I'd like I have no deck left. Yeah. Uh, alright. 
How much resource remain? Uh, two. Okay. I'll take one. Because I've charged this turn, I'll play Courageous Steel Hand. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> 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 they just decked out, man, and I just couldn't end the game. I think uh, saving that via the Vanguard was really smart. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, like... You just, had, like, you just had the late game on me, and I just couldn't close it. I don't know if I just, like, misplayed or anything. <laughs> I misplayed a lot, bro. I, I don't know how to fuck to play. <laughs> so it's just like swing, swing one. Um, um, I'm sorry, my Azalea fans out there. I, I know that you guys are yelling at me now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that wraps up our first ever uh, progression series. Um, Bolton takes a to butthole yeah. takes a cake. Yeah, butthole takes the cake, and I guess. Well, at the start of the next video, we'll see our die roll, see what we want to get for our next die roll. Matt gets his re-roll on his first roll. Yeah, Matt. Um, and hopefully we get more packs, and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, peace. Peace.